This is not financial advice, not legal advice, for entertainment and educational purposes only, and anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that. <laughs> algorithm, YouTube algorithm stuff, so you get the videos I put them out, so you don't think and see me analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, the data they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. The SEC has filed a lawsuit against Silvergate Bank, alleging that they had like $9 billion in fraudulent transactions relating to FTX and that they uh, created money laundering violations, okay? Now, everybody who has been charged by the SEC has agreed to settle. The case came out on July 1st, and everybody has already agreed to settle. Okay? Absolutely crazy. So you have um, Alan Lucas. He agreed to settle. Captain Freha, if I'm pronouncing that right, agreed to settle. But you know the only one who didn't agree to settle? The CFO, Antonio Martino, he wants to take the case to trial. And now that the Supreme Court has ruled that trials in the SEC, the person can opt to go into real court, it's going to get very, very interesting. First of all, the only reason the SEC is going after Silvergate Bank and FTX is because the big dogs lost money. The fraud and corruption that AMC GME played is overwhelming, but still nobody has been brought to justice. Nobody has been held accountable. And they've been doing this for three years. The minute they caught FTX engaged in fraud, they jumped on it right away. 12 months didn't go by. They've been robbing and stealing from us for over 36 months, and still nobody has been held accountable. But I'm going to tell you guys something. I am glad that Antonio Martino is taking it to trial because you know what I'm hoping? I'm hoping when he takes it to trial that they're going to be forced to turn over evidence and they're going to show where those 400 million AMC tokens came from and where the alleged shares that they had for these 400 million tokens came from. Okay, because once we go to trial... All the evidence becomes discoverable. All the evidence becomes discoverable. Everybody else agreed to a, well, not even a plea bargain, because you know none of them are going to say that they were culpable of anything. They're going to pay a fine, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to disappear. But because the CFO has decided that he wants to clear his name, best case scenario, all the fraud and corruption with those AMC tokens are going to be exposed. And I believe it's going to show that there were never any AMC shares that were being held by FTX. They created the tokens out of thin air. I believe it is a trademark violation. I believe that, the, that AMC should have sued them. But that's another issue that, were, that would require a CEO who was concerned about his shareholders, a CEO who was concerned about the price of his stock, of his stock. And we know we do not have that with Adam Aaron. Adam Aaron is not concerned about shareholders. Adam Aaron is not concerned about the price of AMC stock because he has made over a hundred million dollars since the since the pandemic, while retail investors have lost trillions of dollars. OK, but that the SEC always finds resources to go after people who they know are going to cop out. So the real evidence doesn't get exposed. I am hoping that the CFO Antonio Martino takes this thing to court, takes it to trial so we can find out. What happened with those 400 million AMC tokens and the alleged shares they were supposed to have 
in the account. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that a real lawsuit against FTX could expose the 400 million counterfeit AMC tokens that they had on their books? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.